It's all in the way you think and having faith in yourself and knowing that you will get this thing done and you will reach this deadline and you will submit an amazing article. Um, it's just being confident in your work and in yourself. Hey guys, this is Lily Workna and this is my career moves and coffee run story. And I was originally born in Ethiopia, but I guess I've been in Atlanta for about 12 years, um, so that is where I'm from. Um, and I went to the University of Georgia um, and graduated in May 2012. I worked for InStyle Magazine as an editorial intern through ASME. Um, and I, it was a summer of my life. It was an amazing, an amazing experience. Um, and I met a ton of people. And through the program, each week, we got to meet with different magazines and different editors. So they ranged from going to Glamour, to The New Yorker, to um, several others. We, the, oh, oh, the Oprah Magazine, and we went to Martha Stewart's. It was just amazing. Um, and that summer, I really, really learned a lot. Um, and made a lot of connections as well. Um, I was at Time Inc. because that is a company that owns InStyle and I also got to participate in another program that they had offered, the Digital Reverse Mentor Program. Um, and they selected about 13 people. Um, I feel like about 70 or 80 had applied and um, I got accepted into that and I mentored the, um, the one of the executives at the time. Her name is Miss Martha Nelson. Um, and that was an incredible experience for me to meet her. Um, she was one of the company's top execs. So I left that summer and I came back to Atlanta um, and I interned with CNN.com. Um, I got accepted into their features program, so I was a features intern for their entertainment technology and health verticals. Um, and so I pitched stories and I came in two days a week, all day, um, and I wrote stories for the site. I did research, I fact checked, I published, I used their online content management system. Um, and that was the time when I realized I really wanted to pursue online journalism and everybody knew at the time that that's where the field was going. Um, so I figured with my background in editorial work and, and now this and online that this was the jump start for me to pursue this dream. Um, and so that was an incredible time because I got to pitch amazing stories and I got a ton of bylines out of CNN um, and the people there were amazing to work with. Um, and so that was one of the best internships I had on top of following in style. Um, I am currently a full-time freelance reporter at People Magazine. Um, my responsibilities range across the board. I cover a ton of different beats, from style and body to movies to entertainment to our heroes and human interest stories. Um, but from a day to day, I cover red carpet events. I interview several celebrities. Um, I fact check and close stories, making sure that each name and age and fact that we publish in the magazine is accurate. Um, and I pitch stories weekly. I also contribute to the special issues that go to our subscribers only. Um, and I also contribute and pitch stories to people.com and get a lot of bylines out of that as well. So it's a lot of fun. I've covered a ton of different stories at People, but I'd have to say one of the most interesting ones that I've done um, takes more of a human interest angle, and that is our half their size story that I helped cover. It was actually one of our cover stories, um, and it was published in January of this year, 2013, um, and the story in itself is published, um, we do it annually, so this year we featured six candidates who have literally lost half their size, um, and I helped track down one of the finalists. Um, interviewed her, we went to the photo shoot, we, um, I went through every step of this process with her um, and the other candidates as well and was able to do a one page feature on her and how she's lost this weight and she's kept it off for about 10 years. Um, so that was an amazing accomplishment for me to have that byline in the magazine for a cover um, and that was really a lot of fun and even though it is primarily a celebrity magazine I love people because it's it does a great job of mixing celebrity with real human stories, um, and that has been one of my greatest accomplishments so far. Um, journalism for me has really been, it's been one of those things where I um, really haven't ever thought about studying anything else. It was just kind of meant to be for me. Um, I've always enjoyed reading and writing, um, and at first there was a point in my time where in my life where I thought I wanted to do broadcast and decided to switch that over to print um, and now more primarily online. 
Um, but it's just one of those things that I never really thought about studying anything else. I never really wanted to become a doctor or an accountant or um, study another major, or pick up another major. It's just always been, I've always known that that's what I wanted to do. And I, think I, did, a, I did several camps in high school, um, journalism camps, that kind of allow me to really figure out and zone in on my skills um, and expand them. And I decided to study it further in college. Um, and I haven't looked back since, and I really enjoy it. It's a great field to be in, um, and every day is something new. No two days are alike. Ultimately, um, in regards to my career, I definitely want to pursue online journalism and entertainment news. Um, working for people has been an amazing first step for me, um, and it's only allowed me to really reassure myself that that's really what I want to do. Um, but I want to write articles and I want to publish articles that both entertain and inform. Um, so I hope to be the managing editor or the editor-in-chief of a, a website one day that um, is hugely successful, um, either one that I start or one that's already established. Um, working for CNN, like I said, was a great, a great experience. And um, I might hopefully one day have the chance to go back there is what I really hope to do. Um, or work for any really established news site and cover entertainment and news and, and publish and write um, and just get my work out there and be more immersed in what's going on and, and be able to create the news and, and report it and um, just get the information out there is really what I want to do. One piece of advice from me that I've had over the years and just in how I am is to not stress over things. Um, I tend to let things just roll off my shoulder and not to worry too much about them because it can get the best of you. Um, it's all in the way you think and having faith in yourself and knowing that you will get this thing done and you will reach this deadline and you will submit an amazing article. Um, it's just being confident in your work and in yourself. Um, I mean, you can be your greatest weakness or your biggest motivator all in the way you think. Um, and I've carried that through a lot of the things that I've done and a lot of the jobs that I've had and the positions that I've held. Um, and just knowing that ultimately it's going to all come together. You just need to keep faith and keep your head strong and move forward.